salad grind. It's like three or four dollars at the store, and it's actually so insane. Meaning so delicious. And it's like low key a good way to like sneak in some greens when you're on the road because it's pretty hard to do. What's that. going on, guys? We are at the Great Sand Dunes National Park in Colorado. Hello. I thought you were gonna take that somewhere. Oh, I was <laughs> for you to uh, go on your tangent. No, okay, so we just left Pagosa Springs and we decided to send it here on the way home to Denver. <laughs> it's kind of funny because as we were going up on this road, which you can see the dunes from a distance for like how many miles? Like 50 miles? Yeah, like so like far that. away. There's just kind of like flatlands everywhere and then these dunes in the distance and over the dunes is just this massive cloud and you couldn't see any of the dunes. And um, it connects to the ground and yeah. it's like not a rain cloud, but like the cloud went from the sky all the way to the ground blocking the dunes. It was super weird. And we saw this little mini tornado even. It was kind of wild. Yeah, we were freaking out. I don't know like what the <laughs> definition of a tornado is, but there were definitely this thing spinning around. Yeah, so. which like, wasn't was in small. the dunes. So. It was small, but uh, definitely tornado-like. So yeah, we'll take you along. We are hoping to go hike up to High Dune. So wish us luck. Take you with us. One other super cool activity here is sandboarding. And if you want to rent a sandboard, you actually do it right here next to the restaurant. Um, I don't know the price of it. When we came here in the summer and we were going to rent one, the line was like 100 people long. So if you're going to do it, get here early. But that's where you do it if you want to know. What are you doing? So since the sandboarding place is closed, and I really, and I really don't feel like putting on snowboard boots and hiking sand dunes at almost 9,000 feet in snowboard boots. I'm gonna take the trucks off my skateboard. So hopefully this works and we can get some sandboarding in on a uh, skateboard. How excited are you for the, for the high dune, excuse me? How excited are you? Not excited. No, mm -hmm. I'm pumped. Bullshit. I've been here like <laughs> four times. I have never gone to High Dune, mainly because it's like, that sounds awful. And literally walking in the sand is torture. Like, if I ever have kids, I might like, if they get in trouble, I'm gonna take them to the dunes and say, walk over there. <laughs> Not actually, but like it's so hard and daunting, but we're going so high up. That's so It'll be awesome. sweet though, we're going for sunset and I'm hyped, so. So I scoped all trails and it looks like High Dune is three miles round trip and like 600 feet of elevation gain, which like compared to hikes that Bree and I do normally, like that's nothing. But like she said on sand, that is just miserable. Walking like five feet up sand sucks. And so, well, one thing that's cool about this, not cool for the hiking part, but High Dune, the summit of it is at like 8,600 feet in elevation, which is just insane that like on two sides of the sand dunes are just kind of like a little pocket of 14ers. Um, and then in the middle is just this massive area of sand dunes. So it's a super cool and unique place. Got limited hands, so Bree's gonna try to shove <laughs> skateboard in my back. If not, I'm gonna shove it in my back. Do you think you can make it work? First attempt at sandboarding on this little baby hill behind me. Um, under the top layer of sand, it's a little wet, so it's kind of muddy and sticky, so not really working, but. If we can find a steep enough one, I think it'll work. Way up there is High Dune. We had a lot of flat, now we're going right up. We're being rookies today. I don't know, am I going back to the car? Right now, Bree is going up probably the steepest incline we've seen on the sand dunes. So I can get some pics of her with her own track because the single tracks look super cool. she look pretty cool. This is so tiring. Straight up. My hair looks wild right now. <laughs> I got the board out. Breeze down there. Somewhere. 
think that's her. Go. Yeah. That was anticlimactic. Take like seven. Found a really steep one. You ready? I can guarantee it's not gonna do anything. on the board. Uh, everyone's sandboards and snowboards are working, but the skateboard is not working. Um, I know, but then what, snowboard boots? Sounds so ridiculous. <laughs> that didn't work. So, we're super close to High Dune Summit, but we're gonna make the call not to go up. Um, surprisingly, I mean, my thought at least was, you know, be on top of high dune, you'll have epic views of the sand dunes, but in my opinion, the views from the bottom are so much thicker. Um, we're kind of just in the middle of it up here. You don't get many layers and stuff, like, which is really nice for photography. So I think we're gonna head back down because it's getting really close to sunset and we would be, I don't know, it seems like the better call to get better photos and time lapses and stuff than just hiking to high dune just for the sake of it. Dancing down there. Three shadows dancing. Check it out. Cool. Was the shot worth it? My nose. I haven't seen it. I think so. Was it? Yeah. you get to have a competition who makes a bigger sand pile from what is in their shoe. So let's see. Here's me. Kyle. That's a pretty big, oh you gotta shake them out, you get extra. Pretty close. Look at our mini dunes we made. Alright, let us know in the comments who's got the bigger pile and who won. Well, hope you enjoyed our ridiculous <laughs> adventures again here in the sand dunes. Yes. Uh, see you guys. Bye. <laughs>